Whoa. This is a little bit better, right? All right. So I have 17 equals p minus 3 minus 3p. Um, and remember, p is going to be our unknown value. So what we're going to try to do for this problem is we're going to need to find the value of p that makes this equation true. So to do that, um, right now I have a problem because I have two different, I have two unknowns, I have two p's. I need to get that down to where I have, uh, where I have p equals something, right? So I got to get these two p's together. So what I'm going to do is I am going to rewrite this so I have my p's that are next to each other. And you actually don't need to rewrite this. Um, you could just say p minus 3p, which is a negative 2p minus 3. Um, actually, well, I guess I didn't re rewrite it either. But uh, you know, in another video, I show you why you can rewrite it, work with it. But just remember, I can combine these two terms. All right, and because they have combined like terms, they have the same factors. And especially these same factors is your variable factor, which is p. Um, since they have that same variable factor of p, I can combine them. And so to do that, I just take 1p, which is really a 1 in front of there, minus 3p, which is a negative 2p. Then the negative 3 still stays there. Now when you take a look at this, you say, oh, OK, now I have what we call a two-step equation, right? So I take a look at my variable p, and I say, all right, what is happening to the variable? What do I need to undo? And remember, we always undo in reverse order of operations. We always undo addition and subtraction first. I see it's being subtracted by 3, so I add 3 on both sides. I get bank day equals negative 2p. 20 equals negative 2p. My Espanol Spanish is horrible. But sometimes I really like to say it, so I just kind of go with the flow, the ebb and flow. Uh, 20 equals negative 2p. Now I say I use the inverse operation of multiplying by negative 2. So I divide by negative 2. And therefore, I get negative 10 equals p. Now, make sure I use the properties of equality right? on both of those. Do you do it on both sides of the equation? Now when you take a look at this, we say negative 10 equals p. Well, negative 10 equals p are also, we like to write it as p equals negative 10. And that is, uh, that is how we'll work with p equals negative 10. So that is the solution. That solution is what makes this equation, this statement, true. Thanks for watching.